my dear beautiful viewers how are you all doing today i welcome you all to our channel to your channel to our father's channel all right so what you need to know it will automatically come if it is meant for you it will automatically speak in volume by itself all right whatever you are asking for has been praying for for an answer for a validation for a confirmation it is coming your way okay you are confused you really want to speak waiting on on a communication oh about a love all right my dear beautiful viewers you have been waiting on for a long time about this uh, uh, about this relationship all right about this love you have been waiting on for a long time long time and this waiting period whatever you are going through the waiting period you really are feeling confused okay very confused uh, very much like universe i have no clue i'm done uh, you are almost done and i'm telling you my dear beautiful viewers that whatever you are feeling right now is actually not your energy that's how i'm feeling no whatever you are feeling right now is actually the energy of the love interest of your life that's how i'm feeling yeah the, the, whatever i just said it just implements on them all right because you are already dead you are not in a situation to feel anything right now that's how i am feeling to be honest to tell you you are not in a situation to feel anything right now you really don't know uh even why you are watching this reading that's how i am feeling to be honest all right so you needed a confirmation a validation like whatever is going on with you whatever is going on with you is that you really want to talk to somebody you know open your heart to i'm feeling like yeah i mean you really really want to talk to somebody uh, open your heart to and um, you know speak it loud uh, really loud i mean what you want uh, what you feel what are your options what are you planning what you have been waiting on you really really want to talk out uh, about this to the love interest of your life about how you feel about what you want there is a strong desire within you you know to feel victorious about this connection even if within you are really dead you have i feel like that you know for some of you i'm feeling like you are hanging on to the last thread of hope all right probably that hope is me bringing this message to you like sister my soul sister can you please tell me what is going to happen you are really feeling all tied up right all tied up i understand i understand father what are you doing on this connection why don't you do, just do it as fast as possible my dear beautiful viewers your father in heaven is saying that i'm not connecting to my dm today i don't know why all right it's just father i'm connecting today all right uh, so uh, your father is saying that they, he sees that you are actually dead uh, you are not in a situation you have become very cold and detached yeah probably that's why you are not connected to your heart chakra or you are connected to your heart chakra but feeling really confused about this waiting the whole waiting game yeah this whole waiting game is making you freaked out all right that's how i'm feeling so the whole waiting game is freaking you out all right i mean uh, yeah when you keep waiting on something you tend to get confused at time like whether it is even coming or not i'm feeling so confused at times i'm feeling so detached i don't know how i'm feeling in true authentic self like you know i'm i'm doing every bit of whatever makes me happy but i'm not feeling victorious within i'm not feeling content within i'm not feeling joyous within i'm not feeling stable within all right but in truth like nothing is wrong with you you are just fine but there is this energy surge whatever is happening with you that is happening in complete energetic level you can see that all right it is just happening in complete subtle level energy level all right but with your dm it is absolutely in physical uh, sense all right like they are absolutely done deal some of them may be sick all right some of them may be really sick because this masculine has gone through a lot of paranoia nights 
hibernation, uh, hallucination, uh, paranoia, mystical or cold kind of energies this person has gone through. That's how I'm feeling. After last conversation, whatever you have had about this connection with this person, see whatever it is you you, you have talked to this person, all right, about whatever you are feeling or uh, you said something that. You know, this queen is speaking to me loud. You have said something to this person that really has this sword, this big sword. <laughs> you know, this, I'm, I'm laughing, but let me tell you, all right. This big sword has pierced through their heart, body, mind, soul in two pieces. That has made into this. You said something. You have actually, what I'm feeling is that, you know, for... You know, these cards are in this sequence, all right? These cards are actually in this sequence. This person has played with your emotions, uh, with your, your, your thoughts, you know? This person has pl played with your heart, body, mind, soul in a way, all right? Not giving you any commitment, keeping you waiting, all right? You felt like this person is neither letting me go, neither letting me stay, all right? And, uh, you know played with your emotions, uh, brought you into this energy, all right, and kept you hanging like a pendulum, all tied up, all right. You kept waiting and got confused. And now this person, uh, you know, you you said something the last time and you had a communication uh, with him uh, pertaining to, you know, you never say, you, you know, you're never sure about your emotions. You just come and go. I don't understand what is going on. I feel like this, whoever you are dealing with, this person has never openly uh, uh, professed their love or said their love. And you got so confused that whether this person even ever loved you or not, whether they love you or not. And why you are watching this tarot card, why you have been watching this tarot card, why you still feel so connection, even if you guys are not in talking terms, you're already done deal. Sometimes you feel so angry and sometimes you feel so, so, so connected to this person. What the hell on earth is going on? All right, I'm I'm losing out. That's what your energy is, right? Yes. <laughs> Actually, this is what their energy because they they are dying to talk to you. But you know, this is what their energy is. You see, in yours place, in yours place, you are waiting. In their place, they are stuck. All right. Hence, you both are stuck. <laughs> <coughs> affirmation only communication is the key to uh, to uh, sort this situation out all right i can understand my dear beautiful viewers in a very very you are very uh, you, you are very much in a very much in a situation where it's more like what the heck what the heck you said something to this person all right the last communication you had this this group of people you guys are not in talking terms you might you guys might not be talking for the last three months three years three weeks all right or eight weeks eight months or seven weeks seven months like that kind of a length you have spent and you have no clue about this person's whereabout you you are not sure whether this person has ever loved you or not because they did not communicate it they did not communicate it about their emotions uh, in a in an authentic way or the way it should be so that you get a heads up about your things are fine but you are just clueless all right Probably you asked for a commitment. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, I said, probably you asked for a commitment and then they run away and all they did was like, you see, back to back, these are all major. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You see, these are all back to back major arcana. With after 10 of pentacles came, um, came the Hierophant, then came the death card. All right. Then came the Hermit, then came the uh, hangman and then came the Aries. all right it's about a wish fulfillment and this person is this all right and we finally got wow oh, oh okay 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 
See, I'll tell you, all right, my dear beautiful viewers, hear me out, okay? You said something to them, the last communication that you had with them, that really brought them into this condition, all right? They are, they are dead. They are dead. And they are also fearing the way you are fearing, like, I don't know, I mean, universe, what is happening in this connection? I mean, I am watching tarot card. I'm, I'm, I'm crying to that every night, every day. All right. I'm doing every possible thing that I'm supposed to do. I feel bitter. I feel love. I feel every emotion, universe. I truly feel every emotion, but I'm, uh, you know, but I don't know. I mean, whether I should wait for this connection, whether I should move on in life. What do I do? What do I do? And that's what you did, you know. You did not realize probably consciously or unconsciously or subconsciously. You started to walk away from this person's energy, all right. Finally, you start, you, you decided to walk away from this person's energy, all right. And when you decided to walk away from this connection, my dear beautiful viewers, when you did walk away from this connection, they got an awakening. <laughs> Two of cup, yes, they got an awakening, all right, rude awakening. That awakening was, come on, these are all major arcana, one, two, three, four, and they, they, all this came in a sequence, all right, I'll show you, I'll tell you how it is playing in your life, and it is prophetic, all right, so many major arcanas coming together is truly prophetic, all right, truly prophetic. So, I'll tell you. This person, when the last time you had a communication and whatever you just said to this person, this person walked out of your life, you know, kind of in a in a hang, hanged way. Uh, you have been reminiscing, uh, reminiscing the, those days, the, the, the days that you have spent with him. What was that? I, I, in a way, like, you know, what was that? I mean, the way I'm feeling for him, what was that? I mean, I don't know if this is coming. Some of you may be feeling angry or bitter about it. But um, when the, when you walked away, when you showed your back to this person, decided to walk away, knowingly or unknowingly, you actually walked away and you pulled all your energy uh, with you. All right. When you pulled all your energy with you, they are not feeling your energy anymore they are not in an uh, in a space where they can feel your energy all right when they are not feeling your energy they are getting really really freaked out all right freaked out in a in a way like you this time has actually uh, cut them all right cut them i'm feeling like that like this person is feeling like you have actually cut them out from your life. You have chucked them out of your life. Hence, they are not able to feel uh, your energy and they are getting really freaked out that they have lost you uh, forever, you know, and they are understanding that, you know, they did not commit to you, you know. The, the reason for both of your separation was like back and forth energies, a non-committal, all right, pray, uh, weighing so much of pros and cons, you know, uh, false belief system, whatever it has been that was hindrance on your way. And they were brought in onto their knees with that card. Like it's time that you have to let go of any false belief systems. All right. False, false belief systems, your, uh, um, you know, unnecessary ego, uh, grudges, hatred, or whatever it is that is like coming on the way for both of your union, all right? And they were put into that hermit mode to see things from a different perspective, all right? So that this came in a sequence, all right? Look at this. This came in this sequence so that they can make a move, all right? They can take a leap of faith with the queen of passion, all right? Now that you see this queen, you know, this queen, all this queen are showing the back to this man, all right? This person cannot feel your energy right now. That's how I'm feeling. And hence, they are getting really freaked out. And what I see is that this person thinks of you or feels you as their wish fulfillment. And they are very sure that they can truly uh, start a family with you, all right? With the Empress and Friendliness card. All right, this Empress and Two of Cups energy, they see it. Oh, they, this person is getting rude awakening, like towers after towers to, you know, clear the debris uh, so that they can 
these towers are not coming in a way like that is going to shake up their wall it's not like that it just epiphanies like towers comes uh, you know when it is about illumination to get that aha moment uh, you know to bring them into their core essence core energy to understand what everything is going on uh, around it is just that this person is experiencing um, those towers to get those illuminations all right this person is getting those uh, uh, really uh, this person is getting those understanding those tower experiences and I'm wearing red color so I'm getting this card I'm feeling good all right you continue to vibe in that Martian energy all right Venusian energy okay see you got Martian energy you got Martian energy you got Libran energy you got uh, Martian energy Libran energy uh, Empress energy all right you are getting guidance people those who are i'm the way i am been channeling these days the way i'm getting downloads by the universe <coughs> i am i'm sure it's no coincidence that you guys are coming to my channel and you won't believe these days my views of my videos are also going up all right and i'm receiving a lot of mails and uh, you know personal readings so i'm telling you my readings are connecting uh, to a lot of people and believe me or not some of them have already come in union all right uh, so that's what i'm trying to tell you my dear beautiful viewers that uh, you know you keep vibing you know you don't have to seek for justice you do justice to yourself first all right know your worth of who you are stand with your truth with complete de dedication determination conviction and assertiveness you need to be vibing in this energy so that the love interest of your life in uh, comes in this perfect harmony balance and alignment and they can come and commit to you all right so that they can come and commit to you okay you see you guys are power couple all right you guys are power couple no coincidence that you are listening to these messages you know universe is not happy actually what i'm feeling is that universe is not happy to put uh, both of you in this energy universe is really not happy to both of uh, to put both of you in that stuck energy waiting game all right um, yeah waiting game stuck done deal debbie downer no, no, no. I'm feeling very heavy, to be honest. All right. And it is all major arcanas, guys. All right. It is going to happen. It is going to take place that way. All right. And under, right under this uh, empress is the tower. All right. Tower and then guidance. Two of cups, empress, tower and guidance. You see, tower will bring a big time illumination, guidance. You know, like kind of universe will do something that every path of this masculine every path of this masculine of this masculine will come to you period all right because both of you are wish fulfillment for each other all right both of you want to start a family both of you want to take that leap of faith both of you feel that yes man we 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 share i mean that's what universe is trying to do if you both feel all right one person is completely surrendered then what is holding you are you getting me that means you have surrendered to the universe that's why universe has brought you to my channel and you are hearing this message not your dm right now dm is getting this awakening rude awakening in a different way if you feel so much about this person then what is holding you back from taking that leap of faith and starting the family all over again with a higher level of commitment what is holding you all right I believe that this person, uh, you know, with uh, three uh, major pentacle cards, you see, there's a three major pentacle cards, all right, counterpart with ten of pentacles and a hierophant, and I'm having so much of pain in my solar plexus chakra, all of a sudden, I don't know, I'm feeling like this, somebody's doing like this in my stomach, I'm feeling like that, and I received a message and I don't know. So I'm telling you, my dear beautiful viewers, this person is like been taught by the universe. Like if you feel so much about this connection, when you really feel so much about this connection, then what is stopping you from, I saw 24, 24, what is stopping you from listening to your heart, heading towards your wish fulfillment? What is it that is stopping you 
from making that commitment to start a family right with the love interest of your life in complete alignment what is it that is stopping you then here it is you have been staying with false ego false belief system false this false norms false rules and regulations bloody false terms and conditions that does not serve you anymore tower all right you see tower and that clear it out all right so uh, when it is about clearing it is the same person who needs to do the work right doing the clearing part so universe is giving them um, them higher knowledge and wisdom by putting them in the hermit mode and that's the reason you are not hearing from them all right you are not hearing from them it's because they are getting those higher knowledge and wisdom right now and uh, and universe is really really uh, helping them see all right helping them see this connection to its core be true and authentic to their own truth all right to their own emotions all right stay with that feel that emotion for some time and then make that move all right you see you got two nights out here all right make that move and make that uh, conversation start that conversation all right feel victorious within feel con content within feel feel joyous within all right that's what i'm feeling this person kept holding themselves on to false belief system false this person has been dealing with a lot of falsity false ego false right false belief system but what i feel is that in truth this person has seen i did not get the seven of uh, swords energy right in truth this person has been a wonderful human being to be honest to tell you why you feel so much of connected why you are not able to let go of this these are not two person all right this is one person i'm not talking about any choices out here irrespective of your gender this is a very wonderful human being you know in spirit he's a very wonderful human being he has a very good heart kind heart giving heart uh, nurturing heart he can take he is a very good leader that's how i'm feeling with the uh, hierophant card all right when a hierophant come with this kind of king pairs this kind of king pairs <laughs> see interesting when a hierophant comes with this kind of king pairs all right he is a very uh, grounded person with a very uh, grounded emotions all right uh, can this person can be a very good leader uh, you know who listens to his intuition guts all right and accordingly follow uh, follow the nudges all right and accordingly uh, pave their path it is just that since the time you guys uh, came in contact with each other something happened that uh, you know you had you started to had a uh, the difference of opinion all right you started to have different difference of opinion and hence you guys fell apart all right but in in truth this person is a wonderful human being so do you hence you guys are soulfully connected to each other because your soul essence is divine right your soul essence is divine okay so when your soul soul essence is divine divine is working it is just in the 3d body in the 3d belief system you carry a different kind of perception judgment or way of seeing life and they carry a different kind of perception altogether hence there was tower 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 all right but the father your father in heaven is clearing the path with the tower all right so that you both can take a leap of faith with each other all right towards a higher level of commitment period it's all about extending that cup it's all about a communication it's all about making that move by listening to the heart and body mind and soul you know what i'm feeling to be honest we have all the elements out here fire air okay water we have all the energies out here and what i'm feeling is that oh okay now i got the download you see after so long i got this confirmation probably that's the reason i have been guided by the universe at this point in time to do the reading in a way uh, like elemental wise the psychic messages so what i'm feeling is that you know there are prominently you see uh fire earth and 
air, all right? You see fire, earth, and air, and this person has cup energy, all right? Only the queen of cups is missing, right? That is you. He will come. The queen of cup is with is out here only because we already got the empress, right? So in between these three queens and the empress, there is this hidden queen of cups, all right? So elemental wise, I feel like this person is uh, like kind of uh, getting in that alignment of earth, wa uh, earth, water, fire, and air, all right? And ethers is working. The sky is working. Your father, your father in heaven is working to bring two people together for an union so that you can start all over again, all right? Communication is coming your way and both of you will feel victorious, all right? This person will come to extend their, you know, I, this person is riding a horse, but this time I'm not seeing this person as a knight. I'm seeing this person is actually queen, uh, king of cups. This king of cups is riding this horse to reach the queen, all right, and to extend their love and feel victorious, uh, feel victorious about this journey, about this connection. Strongly, I'm telling you, all right, strongly, I'm telling you, if you're feeling very strongly connection with this person, all right, communication is coming your way, okay, <clears throat> yes, communication is coming your way, undoubtedly, this person is working very hard on his pentacles, all right, really very working hard on his pentacles, probably, he wants to start a family with you, so he's working on his money, all right, his security and stability, yes. If he wants to extend that Ace of Pentacles to you, he'll have to earn, all right. He will also have to earn to bring forth, uh, bring forth that, uh, you know, those Ten Pentacles, you know, Ten of Pentacles energy to, into your life because together you'll be starting all over again, all right. So what I'm feeling is that this person is going through rude awakening of like not in that uh, terrible way, all right? Not in that terrible way. It is just like universe is pushing them, you know, come on now, unblock, <laughs> all right? It may be little, little, you know, like, okay, enough. You made the choice. You want to go with her, right? All right. So what is holding you now? No holding. Push, unblock now. So first he will probably unlock you, unblock you. All right, unlock you in that way because he is a key to your heart, right? He will be opening the keys and entering your door. So this will be the keys to enter your heart. So it's like they will unblock you first of all. Probably then after some day he will be saying hi, how are you doing? All right. So you know he will he, he will not come like that. He will make small small moves towards you with the two of cups. All right, because he, he, you see he has to come towards an empress, right? It's no joke, man. He has to come. He has to make a move towards this. They say this man. <laughs> father has so. Father is really interesting, you know. See, this king has to reach the king of queen of cups, right? That is missing out here. But we have the empress. So in between this empress and this king, uh, king queens, there is this king of uh, queen of cups. So he has to bring that cup to the queen of cups. All right. So. He has to come in a real sync, all right, in a real sequence, okay, to her, to her heart, all right. So uh, he will be like this, like first of all, probably unlock you, then he will be sending you um, messages, then make some little, little pages kind of energy entry into your life, not in a that casual way, all right. This is a mature person, but he will be adopting the ways that I'm feeling is a, like kind of... Um, mature yet very childlike kind of innocent kind of energy all right they will communicate to you and extend that cup all right so and then gradually then you guys will meet all right this time all right this time don't let this person come into your life like that all right hold hold on to your horses don't let this person just enter your life like that you know don't, don't show them too much of importance it's like all right yeah, I'm fine. Show them that you are a bit busy. Can I just give you a call back after 10 minutes? Even if you are not. Do like that. I'm telling you. It's not manipulation to be honest. It is just that you are showing your stand. Not out of ego. Not out of anger. It is just that. You know, see, if you are not in talking terms, you 
the moment you will see they're calling, it's like you'll be like this, right? Oh, it's calling. You get excited, right? Universe is asking you to calm down, my child. You don't have to get excited because you don't know what is coming, right? You don't know if they have matured or they are still pages like this. It is, see, I'm just bringing the messages, but you are not sure, right? So that's why I'm trying to tell you that don't try to be too excited. Don't try to be too sad, all right? Try to be neutral. So when they call or send you messages, don't be too fast to send them message or reply, all right? Or don't try to, you know, pick up the phone and answer them in there. Even if you pick up the phone, it's just that, you know, like, can I just give you a call back after some time? Hey, hi, how are you? Can I just give you a call back after some time? I'm doing a bit, uh, I'm a bit busy, you know, like that kind of energy I'm talking about. Okay. And then when you do that and just meditate and relax, <laughs> breathe, inhale and relax, calm your mind. All right. Go with it. Just calm your mind. Try to pre-meditate like how you're going to talk without setting up any expectations. Just see what this time listen more <laughs> what you have done last time has already brought them onto that energy of all this nonsense you see are you getting me so don't be too cold and detached kind of energy all right <clears throat> no not like that all right be nurturing you know so show like you are doing fine not like debbie dan or all right not with attitude it's like with humbleness groundness like can I just give you a call back after some time? I'm actually busy right now, even if you are not. All right, then relax and all right, premeditate and then talk. And this time, let them talk when you hear. All right, pull back. Let them talk and you hear. Be present there. All right, and you will understand what is actually going on within them how for how long they were they are for uh, if they are coming back if it is permanent or they have a choice to walk out again or whether they truly want to commence where this connection whether they really want to make this connection official let this time things come from their end all right let it come from their end you don't uh, do anything you don't do like this all right let them come all right because at the end, you know, if you ask, keep asking for a commitment, 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 all right, start all over again, let's start all over again, let's commit, let's start family, you know, it will lower your image, your self-esteem. Why? Why do you have to uh, prompt them to commit to you? All right, keep your weightage, all right. If they truly want you, let them make that move all right see if they are truly truly behaving like a real king or not whether behind this queens these queens uh, the king of queen of cups is there all right it is your duty to take care it is your duty to take care these are your elements all right one of you is nurturing within you the spirit all right one of you is passionate one of you is assertive and truthful that's the reason you could stand this connection right because you are truthful you are passionate you are nurturing like a mother so how secure you are to give that heart to the same person who has pierced through your soul and brought you here yet you feel the connection so let them make that move this time to commit you don't ask for any commitment. You show that you are doing really good without them in, in your life. All right. And see how, how much they love you that they also fear to lose you. Unlike you, right? Let And see how mature, how grown up they have become, you know, during the time of separation. Okay. And see even if these messages that you have been hearing for so long, seeing the tarot card, how much this even resonate with you. That's what I'm trying to tell you, you know. See, test, challenge, struggle can come from multiple dimensions. It's your wittiness. It's your reasoning and logical brain. When you tamper that properly, that's when a, you get a true outcome. All right? So, let this person make that move, not you. All right? You vibe in that energy of empress, okay? Empress. Not an empress energy is not like kind of ooh, I am all in all. 
know empress is very grounded very calm very kind she, uh, empress has all the elements qualities of those four queens all right know this okay so i hope this messages has helped you in some way shape or form until we meet again i'm sending across much love and light to you all om namah shivaya stay blessed and in peace bye bye